I was about to say good morning, but you know damn well I ain't no good morning. Look at all that damn sun. Look at that sun. Look at my flowers. Look at my flowers. This is just how easy it is to please me. This. And then it's two bundles. I made it one. Okay, it was a white one and it was a yellow one. And I, you know, look, you know, the jar I put them in. Come on, now we ghetto. We got ghetto looking good around here. We ghetto. <laughs> that was my 100% cranberry extract bottle. Ooh, child. And it was cranberry extract. I think that, uh, that kind of cranberry will eat the whole entire uh, urinary tract infection and spit it out. <sighs> get him, get him, get him. Fuck him up, fuck him up. So, look, let me tell you a little moment I just had here, y'all. Now, my, uh, my best friend, my best friend, my best friend, mama, right? Well, you know, y'all know my best friend who passed last year. So, her mama gave me her TV. And it's been sitting here, right? And Because I never got a remote. So I got an antenna like three months ago. And I, I just stuck that mug in and then a whole bunch of um, Spanish talking started coming on. Because she was an in infomercial junkie, okay? She would watch infomercials, go to sleep, wake up and watch them. Like I watch crime shit. Crime all damn day. I don't know. We got to solve it. I, I think I be in competition with <laughs> the real detectives. Like, I can solve this. They don't know what they're doing. They're not asking the right questions. They want to sit in the office and roll around in a chair and talk people to death in little bitty tiny rooms. I just think that should be illegal. You put somebody in a little bitty room with a desk and two chairs and want to talk to them to death, I will pass out. Anyway. Anyway, what's going on? What's going on? This is just for moving forward. What is it my cancer girl cuts need to know about moving forward in love? Yeah, I did it, y'all. I did a love reading. Honestly, I said I was about to put both of these decks together. We about to move forward in love. What you need to know about moving forward in love? Because I can't do nothing else. It's like everything always about love with y'all. Y'all get on my nerves. See, see, see. Oh, he owe me another deck. Silent cry. My son came in here snooping around thinking I had his stuff and got water on some of my cars. Oh, yeah. He buying me another deck. I don't know what. Who the hell. And I pre-ordered this deck. The fuck? Bloody Truth Healing Guidance and Protection for Cancer Leo Cups in Love. What is in my Cancer Leo Cups need to move forward? Moving forward. This sun is crazy because I was just outside for four hours freezing. And then as soon as I get home and cook, and, and now I'm about to, look, I'm irritated. Spirit, what's your point? Okay, you need to get to the point. So I should have some money oracles coming soon so I can do money readings because I don't know. It be conflicted to me in these readings. It this this crap is always about love. The last laugh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so crazy. Thirty two feeling got into protection spirit and ancestors. Thirty two. That's why I ain't giving him his money back. Cause I gotta order another bed. Thirty two feeling got into protection spirit and ancestors. So cancel your cup in love. We got singing that damn shit. Holding on. Oh, look, y'all. I think both of y'all or you and this person can possibly be holding on in a sense. You might feel like you're walking away, but I feel like you're preparing to walk away. Like, like that a piece of them still have you. You know, just that one little bitty piece because it's like, you know how we are. We're hopeless romantics. We got we got the door open for that little bitty tiny possibility that they might just show up and show out and mean it. I ain't talking about no past karmic or no damn somebody who spent the black doing this retrograde, y'all. This this is not that reading. If you're looking for some past crap to come spin the block, I'm talking about somebody you didn't met and y'all like drifting. It feel like y'all drifting apart. And y'all, I don't think neither one of y'all want to be the first. But 
Y'all might not even be in communication for real. Y'all might not even be talking to each other because y'all just mad. But somebody is still holding on to the love or the possibility of having an undying love with you or whatever. Somebody holding on. There's some holding on energy going on. What's the energy for Cancer Leo Cups in love? How do Cancer Leo Cups move on in love? Spirit and ancestors. These talkity, these talkity, talkity bitches, the witches, and lovers is lovers and friends is here. Tell me more, spirit and ancestors, for Cancer Leo Cups moving on in love. Cancer Leo Cups. It say long, long ago, past history and memories. I think this past history and uh, memories is just some of y'all could be holding on for pain from the past, uh, bringing past relationship uh, energy into the current relationship with you and this person because you all know how things go when you enter into a new relationship. You got to understand their moodiness, they have, they lows, they habits. And then you got to figure out if you want to be bothered with the shit at all. And some people don't want to be bothered with everybody's habits. Everybody got advice. Now, don't get me wrong. But some people, they ain't got time for certain stuff. They over it. They didn't evolve from it. They're not interested in it. And they're not willing to use their impact, their energy to pull somebody up again because of their past and doing that to somebody already. This could be a lovers and friends connection. These you two probably was very cool with each other, very friendly with each other, very in a, 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 a deep liking with each other and it, it's been distorted. It's been messed up or something like that. Oh yeah he owed me because I literally just got this deck and I'm 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 freaking upset like upset and look at this Somebody saying, I'm through with it, love. <laughs> and some of y'all could be doing that, the aftermath. You could be sitting up here just focusing on you. I'm going to tell you something on some real, real, real ninja crap. I told y'all a long, long time ago when I was watching that, that, that little movie, The Wheel of Time or something. And the black woman, she was the head, 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 head chick. And she was just so lonely, though. Right, but she had this person you could say who was also a sorcerer, but they had a different belief system in a sense. But they came together in another realm together and had intimacy together. But at the end of the day, it's it, it's lonely in this world of spirituality because so many people choose to live in the 3D and chase the 3D. And you don't even realize sometimes that you done levitated to 5D and Sex is overrated. Now, don't get me wrong. Home. Everybody want to tossed up and smacked up. Everybody with that. But when it gets to the point that that's what it's all about and people can't see past that or it's no relationship or no identity after the connection... I mean, in the connection after the sex then. And I'm not talking about people that you're actually in a relationship. Because even while you're in a relationship, it's still nothing after the sex. After y'all busting up. I mean, whatever happened to the day. So y'all curl up, wrestle, talk shit, watch a movie, whatever. Stick my toe in your mouth. I don't care what we do. It doesn't have to be, uh, okay, I'm out. Like, that. that's childish. And not only are they out, they out to go be around a bunch of people. They'd rather go be around a bunch of people than be with their lady or be with their man. They got to go. They got to go to the vices and the people that stroke their ego. But they want to come lay their pipe down on you or she want to come bounce on you. But everybody else can entertain her. But you can't entertain her except besides the bed. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. If they don't know how to be with you and just you and y'all are able to come together and be alone and spend time together as one, I don't see the points in the relationship because after the pandemic, if you don't know how to just be with your mate, what's the point of being with one? Tell me more about Cancer Leo Cups and Love, Spirit and Ancestors. Moving forward in love. My person. Oh, look at him. Ooh, he look hot, too. Damn, that's some nice artwork. Because that motherfucker really look fine, though. Ooh. Look at his shirt. 
His shirt got all of this doggone galaxies all on it. Fireworks. So you about to move on to the next. It's somebody that could be a friend to you. They, they're real cool. They seem like you know their energy before. You could be moving towards somebody else after everybody gossip about you. You know, hoes love the gossip, bitch. Hoes just love the gossip. But at the end of each two of these cards, it's something really beautiful. It's, it's, it's like everybody talking about you all's connection. Like, don't everybody want that, though? You want that doggone connection. Everybody talking about y'all because they mad. <laughs> they mad. They mad they can't have your man. They mad that they can't have your girl. Like, oh my God. Like, she will never, ever, ever mess with you, bro. Just leave it alone. Ever after. Oh, this is her. This headed towards some longevity. Happy endings, joy, and re resolution. This could be this could be a resolution between you and your spouse, your current spouse. I'm not talking about no past, okay? I'm done. We done with the past. Okay, if you ain't let him go, I ain't the reader for you. I don't care about declining subscriptions and stuff because at the end of the day, I'm really helping people. I want to help people that's really trying to evolve and move on. I'm not trying to stay dealing with the people that's in their delusional mindset and don't want to accept an ending. It's, it's, it's something more genuine than somebody letting go and moving on. It's just those rainy days. Then the fairy godmother. Look at her. Fairy godmother might bring you this person. A wish is granted. Granted. Happy changes. Yes, yeah, something. She, you as cold as ice. Happy changes. Somebody is going to level the hell up. Somebody might possibly feel like you not playing, okay? With all of these witches and all these people in their ear and all of this stuff, at the end of the day, they probably thinking about how cool y'all was. Or you could be having some friends and some previous lovers that was in your past, I mean, in your person's ear. Or they have those people that's in their ear distracting them from being better to you. Like, some people have the idea that you's a punk if you love your girl now. That's what it seems like the youth has come up with. Loving your girl, putting your girl first, respecting your girl and all that stuff is for, they call them simps. Is that what they call a simp? So in order to like a woman, you got to be a simp. Period. <laughs> so I guess that's how, how the bros out here feeling now. But I don't, I don't understand that. I don't think I'm ever going to understand that. So in order for me to like a man, I got to be some old. What, what am I? What is women that chooses they man? Like who? who you know, let me cater to you. You know, I hate that son, but who don't mind doing for their man? When it, when you're in a healthy situation, if you're when you're in a healthy relationship and y'all doing for each other, y'all putting each other first. Somebody might want to stay on the doggone block or stay at the bar or go to the titty bar and juggle cheeks and, and titties. But uh, and then you call and they like, oh, my girl called. She said she had the crib. I'm out and they mad. Why are you mad, bro? That's all I'm saying. Why are you mad, bro? If some type of wish is going to be granted between the both of y'all, I think you all both want this change. I do. I think y'all both want this change. Y'all both want this to evolve. Y'all, whoever it is, could be a, ain't no energy out here, but lovers and friends to me, it's like, uh, uh, what you call it? The lover's energy. And these witches, it's like the three of cups. So somebody could be with people that they're around all day, every day. This goes back to when I say somebody would rather be around all of their friends than with you. You would rather be with your mate. They would rather be with everybody feeding bull crap in their ear. And half of them ain't got no man. Or the other half secretly want your man. Or you, uh, 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 vice versa, they secretly want your woman. They they talk down on her. But in all actuality, just really take a poll. Would you mess with that girl? Hell no. Nah. But they most definitely will take yours on down through there. And probably try to disgrace her. And say why well, you shouldn't mess with her either. They would. Because they really want that. They see how happy you is with this person. Can y'all see? Because Mother Nature... Y'all yeah, see, they see how happy it is when you part with this person. Then it's like fireworks when y'all kiss, but y'all have to let go. Look, you have to let go of people. If you want a real connection, 
it's a lot of people you have. You can't keep doing what you always was doing when you was in a, a single relationship. And a lot of people haven't gotten that through their head. They try to make it seem like you trying to change me. You trying to tell me what to do. You trying to control me. No, that's not it. It's just some people can't go with you if you moving in a, uh, in a way of really having a serious relationship with somebody because they don't want you to have that serious relationship. They don't want you to have that happiness because they don't have no flunky no more, okay? They don't have nobody to laugh of, laugh at or use a crumb snatch or pinch off of no more, okay? They don't have a muse that's making them feel, because cause rest assured, the people that's keeping you stuck and away from your spouse, you best believe these people, is not doing that much better. They're not doing that much better than you. So they need you down or in their relationship. It ain't all squeaky clean. So they keeping you down below the doggone radar, making you f swallowing guilt and hate towards your mate. So they can, it's like a one up game because if you was to really, really lock it in with your mate and start cutting people out. And showing that 100% love instead of that split love, split love is you give a little, you give a little to your mate, but you giving all of this over here to all of these other people, and then you wonder why you're making love. Is this what I think about? Is this eat my shit? The help, yeah. Anyway, I watch it. The, the, the TV is on. You can't hear it, but it's on. I'm probably going to keep it on because I was so happy. And this will be a, a, a movie that come on because that was something me and her always said. Eat my shit. Clady choose healing guidance to protect your children and affected for cancer. Leave your cup in love. We moving forward in love. Okay, stinker. Hold up, damn. But y'all got to get into this uh this cauliflower and season it. Make, I make thick slices. They say make thin, but how do you make a thin slice of cauliflower? Thick slice of cauliflower. And it's this seasoning I get from Marshalls and sprinkle it all on there. Oh, with some grapeseed oil. Throw that mug in the oven and let it roast and juicy, juicy, juicy up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it seven days, no meat. So I got the potatoes and the... Um, Goody girl potatoes, look it up. Child, shut up. Those potatoes and um, my cauliflower, that's what I'm eating. My son probably gonna eat all the chicken. Now the swords. Either you both are in your head. No, I don't think you're both in your head because I think you're getting sleep at night. Somebody is not getting sleep at night. Somebody having anxiety. This is stress, worry, fear. Somebody might be thinking that you're done, done. This could be a fear of you actually being done. They're stuck in their head about this situation. They're trying to fight moving. Somebody don't want to move on. That's how I feel. They don't want to change. Someone, someone feels like if really messing with you, it's going to cause them to evolve and they're going to have to accept some accountability and they're going to have to accept some things about themselves. More than accountability. They're going to have to accept things about themselves. Tell me about these. Oh, there we go. Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Tell me about these witches, spirit, and ancestors. The king of swords in reverse. I told you. These some manipulative cunt-ass heifers. That's exactly they are. They some, they some tricksters. Wicked little heifers. Uh, this person wants to manipulate you into believing that, that they need you or you need them or whatever. This, this could be some masculine energy around your person or somebody around you whispering in your ear talking about how much they don't need you and you don't need them. This is somebody without... This look like a mental imbalance. The two of pentacles in reverse is somebody who can't juggle being in a relationship. I'm going to say that since this is about love. They can't juggle being in a relationship and going to work. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing like that because it's like... You know how some people want to eat... They only can get a all to one or the other. Some people be so money hungry or filled with greed... Oh, excuse me. It's this word in the Bible. Gluttony. Is it gluttony? 
gut me, get me, something like that. They're filled with that, like the seven deadly sins. They're filled with that, that they cannot, it's like they're refusing to even accept love at this point. This is not nobody that wants love. They don't even believe in it. Seem like two of pentacles in reverse and the knight of swords, the king of swords, I'm sorry. This is somebody who plays some strong mind games on people, okay? They're very cruel. They, these, is, these is like um, nitpickers. People that uh, uh, critique everything you do. This is a person that comes after you on every freaking level. They talk about your hair. They talk about your nails. They talk about your house. They talk about your car. They talk about how you dress. They talk about how you smell. They talk about how you sleep. They talk about your bed. They talk about your, your washer. They talk about everything, okay? Because they're... they're Because they're just, they just some, these, I don't even know how to say it. This person, this King of Swords, is somebody who really, really, really doesn't mean anyone any good. They don't mean you any good. This is an evil spirited individual. Damn. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse for these witches. And I really believe, I'm starting to believe these witches is the multiple women that this person deal with. This person probably deal with multiple women. Surrounds themselves with women to feed their ego because their self-esteem is so low. And these women do not encourage, did not fuck it, don't fucking tell me nothing. Seven of Cups. Their ego is so low. They surround their self about around all of these women who feed them illusion in their head that they're more than what they are, but they are not prosperous in life at all. In their soul, they're not prosperous. Look, look at this fake image of making themselves believe that they fine and sexy and look how they really is. There's nothing about them fine and sexy. There's nothing about these witches or this individual. They're feeding them bull crap because they're, this is somebody that's in their head mentally. They're mentally entrapped in their doggone head with a bunch of lies and illusions and confusions and chaos. That's what this person like, confusion and chaos. They don't see themselves properly. They want to look at themselves as looking, I'm uh, all the hoes love me. What kind of hoe love you though? Look at the quality of women that you're dealing with. They're helping you manipulate your mind so you don't grow, so you can stay stagnant because they're not growing. They need somebody at the bottom with them. It's like what they say about men, how men, I mean women, mess with weaker men so they can control them. And this is what's happening here. Women, some women mess with a particular kind of man, stroke their ego. So they don't have to be held accountable for the trifling bitch that they are. Mm -hmm, I said it. The bitch is a trifling ass bitch. But this Seven of Cups, King of Swords, and Reverse Energy is by my most definitely delusional. Tell me more about these witches, spirit, and ancestors. What else Cancer Leo Cups need to know about these witches, child? Bitch is fucking delusional. These some gossiping ass heifers that's always talking about you because what little Kim say? You want to be this queen bee, but you can't be. That's why you mad at me. And it's probably more than one. It's probably a whole tribe of them. It's probably your mama, hell, and all your sisters. You take it how it resonate. Five of Swords is in reverse. Yeah, now they, and and look, snake ass bitches. That's what these is. These some snake ass bitches with this Five of Swords. This somebody sit up there as soon as soon as you um. Leo, lead Leo house. They hop on the dog on phone and talk shit about you. Like, yeah, this bitch came over here like she all that. <laughs> like, damn, bitch. What, what's your point, though? Why even be around me if you feel like that, though? Three of Wands, because you ain't going nowhere in life. Look, magician in reverse, you ain't got, you ain't, you can't manifest a dude if you wanted to. Look, two of cups or a chick. You can't manifest. You out here begging for it and still not getting it. Page your cuz. These hoes is crazy. Oh, now the sun's on me. You know what, Mother Nature? 
I ain't dealing with you today because you're wrong. Five of Swords in reverse. They want to fix things with you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to say, I'm sorry for talking about you. <laughs> they want to invest in you. Seven of Pentacles. What we got here? Eight of Wands. The communication is coming in. They come and say, I want a family. I want to be with you. And I want, uh, what, what somebody tell me the other day? I want what you want and don't even know what I want. She been around me all this time. Ain't heard nothing I said. This just goes to show you how much people aren't genuine. They would say whatever. People, tell me about this five of swords in reverse, though. What is this five of swords in reverse all about? A eight. You know what? Justice. Just, justice is being served on this fool. Justice being served on this situation. It is. Either this person is going to change and realize these people that's putting this mess in his, his or her ear is really just a jealous individual. These are jealous individuals that's jealous of a connection. So either this person is going to let these people dictate the fate of their relationship or they're going to evolve and allow you two to love each other. They're, I mean, they're going to evolve and you two are going to come towards each other, okay? Because justice is here for this new beginning. You all, remember I said at the beginning, a lot of y'all still had that little bitty inch of the door open that this person to come in, right? But they're not going to be able to just come in and be like, daddy's home. No, it's not going to happen. They're going to have to put in work. They're going to have to show you that you, they're genuine because they already messed up and tried to manipulate you. You already seen them and called them out about the chicks or the, the dudes, whoever these helpers is. Okay? You, they didn't already called you out. You didn't already call them out. Tell me about lovers and friends. Oh, well, we're going to leave this here. Four of Swords is in reverse. It, it's... It, it, It's not going nowhere. It's giving. It's not giving. <laughs> it seems like it's just not going nowhere. You're not, you're not feeling it. Like you, you. I think you have awakened to this situation or maybe this person did awaken to this situation, awaken to who you are, awaken to this connection and they want to give a rebirth to the love that you all had, okay? A new beginning to it. This is somebody who probably went into the relationship wrong, handled you wrong in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? And now they like, okay, now that you're gone, you're out of their energy Cause you was easy for you to just walk away from this because it, it it had no much, it didn't have as much weight as past indiscretions or relationships you had, right? But so it you wasn't you haven't all the way walked away. You just it was easier for you not to give back to the situation no more after the abuse or the manipulation, the control, uh, the bashing and the illusions that this person tried to put in front of your face that was just not genuine at all. So you waking up to the bull crap and you're not interested. You like, I just gone on and take a leap of faith on my own. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Learn my lesson, bite the bullet and keep going. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. This is for the lovers, okay? Ten of Pentacles, but now somebody see longevity. Now somebody wants a family. Somebody see you as the stable connection that they always see. Look at them. Look. See? Look at these two people. The nun and this damn monster. This eight titty nigga. Is she sucking his titty? Oh, no. She in his armpit. Girl, I was about to say, look at here. We, we I'm tripping. See, look. A water and a goat. Is that a goat or is that an antler? Who is this? Is this an Aries? That look like an Aries. A ram horn. Oh, see, look at the flowers. See, I'm so corny. Yeah, somebody finally see, somebody see you as they're happily ever after. Like, they, I got to fix this. I got to do better. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles for lovers and friends. And you all probably had fun together. Y'all probably was real silly together. But you need somebody who's focused on you and not focused on everybody. Because at the end of the day, that's what it all boils down to. Because all them, everybody's going to come pay y'all bills, huh? They going to come pay y'all bills? No. The 
The two of wands is in reverse. Aw. And the seven of swords. Wait, hold on. Give me more about this lovers and friends energy, spirit, and ancestors for cancer, Leo, cups, and love. Moving forward in love. Maybe they're moving, going towards somebody else, y'all. Knight of Wands or not. <laughs> uh, what's that song? I was stupid. I was foolish. I was lying to myself. That's what's happening here. This seven of swords is not nobody being sneaky. This is somebody who lying to themselves. It seems like they want you to come towards them or show them some type of attention. It's like they keep needing reassurance from you, but they've never given you any reassurance. Like, what the they do that at? God damn. I'm so sick of these men wanting all of these women to do everywhere, everything. I, I believe it's some type of, it's trouble in their paradise. What I mean by that, like their definition a paradise has already been broken and distorted. This could be somebody with childhood trauma and manipulation by their parents. This is somebody who's in denial with their emotions and their feelings. So they choose to use their intellect to control and manipulate. But it was something about controlling and manipulating you. It didn't go according to plan. Like usually a bitch will fall for me. What was wrong with this who? You know what I'm saying? Even with the men, they probably like usually uh dudes be riding my butt, but how the heck is uh Mr. Cups or Mr. C Cups or whatever? How he sitting up here not calling me? And then the crazy part is he they, they, they she'll check her phone repeatedly, right? To see if you contacted her. <laughs> That'd be the funny part. Cause I watched my girl do that shit and I was like, this is toxic. I seen somebody else too sitting up there stalking the person on Instagram. And I'm like, what is what what is that kind of feeling? I understand when you're going over to getting over somebody, but I do it different. So I can't judge people for doing it another way. But I'm not about to stalk your page. Like I got to delete everything connected to you, or I, it's gonna mess me up mentally. Then I'll fold. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. Like, I'm over it. I'm done. But just sitting up there looking at their whole IG. Who is this bitch? She ugly anyway. You know how people be. Somebody's coming in fast. Because you know what? Somebody thought they had something good going on with a friend turned lover. Right? And that lover, they thought this loverly friend, whatever the heck they thought they had going on, they probably slipped in each other's thing. Probably slipped and sat on him or she he slipped inside of her. And then it could be a, a situation when somebody see it's two friends, but they come more off like lovers. So it's a dispute on each side. You know what I'm saying? That's what it look like. It's two friends, but they come off as lovers. So all of their lovers is getting ran away. So if you're not about to commit to that lover and friend, or if you don't want nobody to believe that, why is you keep staying in the energy with it? Somebody see more of a friend with a lover or a friend or a same sex. I don't fucking know. Y'all be getting on my nerves with this shit. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Oh, they want that overly generosity and they about to come and possibly be very, very giving and loving towards you because they never let you go. It's like, this is somebody who wants to, this person doesn't know you. I'm going to say that. I believe this person don't know you. They feel material is what makes you happy and, and that's the last thing that's on your mind. Tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse spirit and ancestors. Why is this four? The three of wands in reverse. I told you, they don't even know you. They don't have a clue who the heck you is. So they about to come burling into you, right? Burling into you, giving you all this material shit. And all you want is this person to understand what the hell you going to allow and not allow. What you're dealing with and what you're not dealing with. That's what you want. But they're coming in with this material crap. Wanting to be all nice and value all of this stuff. But never heard nothing you said. Boy, I tell you. I drink to that. Mm. 
Dynamite. It's not going to go nowhere. It's not going nowhere because they're not hearing you. It's different. You can listen, but if you're not hearing it, or is it hearing, but you're not listening. Tell me about long ago, the past history and memories for Cancer Leo Cups and Love. Long ago. Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords. I told you this happened to them in the past. Page of Cups. Is somebody still what else? What's going on with this uh, long ago energy? What is this past energy? Either you stuck in the past on something or somebody or a situation, or you don't trust, or they don't. But I still don't feel like it's you. I feel like this is the energy of somebody who do not trust because of what has happened to them in the past. But see, I'm gonna say this though. People try to hold you accountable for what happened to them in the past, and that's not right. They don't receive no type of good karma. Don't no good karma come to you for doing that because you've been around somebody away who came to you with a pure heart. But since you don't know what a pure heart look like, you want to take it as something manipulative and um, conniving. So you start to be what you hate. You know what I'm saying? You be the energy that hurts you, and you out here hurting people. And now you're wondering why you can't never find love. Because you never let go, checked, or uh, healed from the person who originally hurt you. Meaning you have always been this person's stepping stool. You to walk this world, this realm, crying and pouting over a love that has let you go move on and ain't thinking about you. Tell me about the nine of swords. Tell me about the nine of swords in reverse. Spirit and ancestors. Somebody could be releasing this stress, this fear, and anxiety. See, I told you I don't think that is you. Knight of Cups is in reverse. Ooh, hold on now. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse for the nine of swords in reverse? Hmm. You so I run my mouth. Why is this nine of cups in reverse? Spirit and ancestors. What's going on, Stink? Five of Pentacles is in reverse. This motherfucker ain't shit. That's how I feel. It feel like they're just rushing into you to get rid of the anxiety, to get rid of the stress, the worry, and the fear, knowing that you might possibly be gone. They're rushing in to get rid of the safe haven, to come out of the cold, to get out of debt. This is why this person is coming. It's not that genuine about this. They come in to love bomb. You play whatever role they need to play, or this is a past person, to play whatever role they need to play because in the end, they're not giving you nothing. They're not giving you no type of union. That's so fucked up. They're, they're, this is somebody that's secretly jealous of your powers or your ability to move on. Because this side of cups in reverse, this is this could be another water sign, honestly. Somebody in spiritual uh, debt. Somebody is at war spiritually. They is, somebody's trying to fight a rebirth and they're trying to fight... Uh, God, the ancestors, whatever, spirit, ancestors, hello be my, hello be thy name. I don't know who they doing. Look, they trying to fight it. They trying to fight their emotions too. Somebody's trying to fight something. They really are. This isn't nobody. You know what they doing? They trying to run from their karma. That's what's happening. Or they feel like you're their karma. They feel like if they give in to you, the things they've done in the past might come back and hunt them through you. You might be the one that take them out and like finish them off emotionally. Well, don't get involved with people then. Oh, baby, you's the baddest bitch, okay? Ooh, shoot. Didn't that come out? You could be that queen of pentacles. Or somebody got some mama issues. Baby mama, I don't know. It's a hoe out here. Somebody got issues with her. Ooh, or this is the Queen of Pentacles coming towards you. Let's see who she is with her spanking ass. Y'all want to see who the Queen of Pentacles is? 
But see, the thing is, this is somebody that's well grounded, well around, independent, got their shit together, and they doing good out here in these dogs on the street. So who is this Queen of Pentacles spirit and ancestors? Cancer Leo, because this could be you. This could be somebody that did something to you in the past. Three of Pentacles in reverse. I just said it too, didn't I? Like a broken partnership. This could be somebody that quit their job and went to self-employment and ate. <laughs> How you talking stupid? Let me see. I'm about to look up the three of pentacles. How about that? Let's look up the pentacles. For some reason, I want to look up this three of pentacles. Wasted efforts, failure, team failures. Damn, disharmony, willingness to learn, poor work ethic, and no goals. It all makes sense. This all makes sense. Now, this is somebody who portrays like they got it together. They ain't got shit together. That's why they run into you to get out of debt. They really don't even like you. I ain't lying, y'all. I ain't even trying to talk shit or talk like I'm bringing y'all down. But you know how somebody just don't like... I learned this from my brother Fred. I'm not going to lie when he said he got with that one girl to... uh. To get his uh driving license and he got the hell on on her once he got the job. And I was just like, that's so messed up. That It was like beyond messed up. And I had told him, ooh, I hate to see your karma. He's like, I ain't getting no karma for that. I had to do what I had to do. I don't know what makes you think take, taking down somebody else to do what you got to do ain't going to bring you no karma. And yes, dear, he got karma. Do you understand? Like the ultimate karma. You know what happened? In any event that this is you, right? I'm just, this is an example. No, no, this is not you. I didn't mean to say that. In any event that this is somebody from your past, because this could be somebody long ago. This person was jealous of you. They was jealous of your power, okay? They was manipulative, emotionally manipulative towards you. Okay, they were stagnant with y'all love life together. They 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 just wasn't given what was supposed to be given to this connection because they possibly had something else or somebody else on the brain. They probably had some type of superficial way of thinking and perceiving situations or relationships, right? And you didn't fit that criteria. Okay, but you fed it enough to stay there and and, and and them they bum off of you because at the end of the day, you made them look good. People don't want to admit that. People don't want to admit that I'm with this motherfucker because she made me look good or I look good walking in with somebody like you. No, they don't want to admit that because then they have to admit that they've been disingenuous this whole damn time. Tell me about my person or your person. My person, spirit, and ancestors for love. Moving on. Tell me about my person, spirit, and ancestors. This Queen of Pentacles is lazy. They don't want to put in no type of work they don't want to give. They just want everybody to give everything to them without them actually putting in the doggone work. It could be that. Or if this is a case of somebody who's just a Queen of Pentacles, if, if, okay, we're going to do it as you. Okay, you didn't give to this partnership with this king of swords because you really felt like this person was being manipulative, cunning, fake love, vomit you. And like I said, they don't like you. So whether they liked it or not, you moved forward and you prevailed and became successful. They probably met you when you was a page of pentacles. But baby, you the whole queen of pentacles now. Some people could be jealous of you and your parenting and your loving, nourishing ways because that's what their mom lacked. Okay, pay attention. Tell me about my uh, person, spirit, and ancestors for cancer Leo folks. Oh, shit, y'all. Just as I said, we ain't going to the past. And here go the past. Don't want to leave us alone. Ugh, irritating. Tell me about the uh, world in reverse. Why is the world in reverse for my person? Man. Maybe they won't leave something in the past. Something or somebody in the past. They're not done with somebody. They're still thinking about, ooh. Ooh, baby, somebody in love. Whoa. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> this is love. So this is love. Mm-hmm. It's not over. 
It's not over. It's not done. It's, it's like you got them fucked up. I ain't read my person. Let's read my person, y'all. So this is love. It says someone sees you as the one and or their soulmate, a long term relationship. Oh, they they so sweet, she sweet, she pookie poo. I told you they in love. They like this this shit ain't done. I don't know what he talking about. I'm mad right now. I'll be back over there. This is the type of chick that's gonna call you. Talk about some what you doing, and you would be like, no, no, watching the game. She gonna be like, you better be. <laughs> She is me. Say no. <laughs> Ooh, look, somebody, somebody got some big dick energy out here for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, this might be a new, a new King of Cups, new Scorpio, new Cancer Price Scorpio. I don't know. It might be new all of them. The Ace of Cups right here. You might be meeting all water signs right now. Ooh, baby. I'm not looking at damn book. Not all water signs. This is somebody who know how to balance their emotions, who know how to tell you like, ooh, baby, I'm losing you. You know, they up there, oh, what I got to do? I'm sorry, baby, baby. Please, please be patient with me. Please understand. Please let me rub your feet. You know, this is somebody who is very, very emotionally available. And they, they might come off a little clingy, depending on which sign you're messing with. But hell, we a little clingy too. Um, but they all about the love. They all about the affection. They all about each other. Okay. This person is all about each other. It's just the fact that the world is in reverse. So this is like some unfinished business with somebody that's in love with you. Or this is somebody that's not accepting the fact that you talking about y'all over. It's like, they're really dismissing that. Um, what was that? I, I, my whole mind went blank. <sighs> my food just got done and I can't get it out of my head. Um, this person is stagnant to come in. There, there is something causing them to be delayed. Could be the witches. Uh, could be somebody from the past, this Queen of Pentacles, this King of Swords. It's like a couple or somebody that's in their head. But it's something stopping them from showing their love. They just could be scared to be hurt again. But either way, again, they can't put you on the back burner while they figure out their emotions. They got to let you go. Because you try to hold on to somebody in the end, they're going to pull away. And then by the time you grasp it, and be like, okay, I want them. They're gone. And they're not even seeking to return to life with you again. It's like they're over you. I, she, I, I'm not just saying this because I know, trust me, I, I did this before. I'm not going to lie. And it's the most painful feeling in the world to try to just have somebody hold on until you get yourself to this perfection, this stage in your life where you're ready to take on the responsibility and the obligation. And it's really no such thing as a perfect time to take on a mate for a male or a female. It's never, ever, ever the right time to take on a mate. People up here texting me. Just bring me some food. I don't care if I just ate. I want some more food. How about that? Tell me about this King of Cups fit in there. This King of Cups could be you with all this love or this King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Damn. And a chariot. Look at that. That was the chariot that tried to come out. I just said the King of Cups. King of Cups can be you. Why is the Ten of Swords here for this? What did I just say? Why is the Ten of Swords here for the King of Cups? Yeah. Oh, Six of Swords. Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with a death, a Ten of Cups, a Magician, Eight of Pentacles. It's like somebody's coming in to rescue you. This is like a knight in shining armor. And you know what? This person came when you was in distress. You was in distress. Something went on with you and this person 
something was stagnating you, something was delayed, something, something felt like it was blocking you, right? And you had a death and rebirth. You did. You had a death. You had to end something. Possibly with a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio. A Scorpio came in, ten of cups. Somebody you can really, really have something with. Longevity with. Somebody who's who probably got custody of their own damn kids, okay? Somebody that's kid friendly. That's somebody who has manifested you as you has manifested you. This is your manifestation coming in with the eight of pentacles in the moon. This is something you dreamed about happening that night. You dreamed about this connection and breaking free of this person or persons that doesn't have your best interests at heart. It's like they're all going to laugh at you. This is a bunch of people that sit up here and laugh at you behind your doggone back while others antagonize you and, you know, whatever. The temperance is in reverse and the justice in reverse with the eight of cups is in reverse. Now they want to return once you got this, once you get this clarity. It looks like uh, you move it on. If this king of cups is you, I don't know. What is the common water stuff? Because the ten of swords is you moving to common waters. You going somewhere peaceful. You getting away from this person that's trying to keep you stuck in this stagnant cycle. Okay? And that's probably where you're going to meet this other energy. Tell me more about my person, spirit, and ancestors for cancer Leo cups. Cause look, told you. A new beginning, a, a, a big ass new beginning coming. Oh, baby, this is some happy shit. Now, this is happy times, happy days, happy times. It could be a light sh shining on you. Look, told you, Queen of Cups, you cut somebody the fuck up. Look, you gave this bitch what they gave you. That's what you did. They wanted to manipulate you, control you, have some type of dominancy over you, and you, 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 you swung back them emotions on that heifer. Yeah, she did. You brought, bring it on in. You brought the emotions back in on that heifer and told them not today. You ain't running shit because this person thought you was going to be weak like the gossiping witches over here. They thought you was going to be weak. They thought you was going to be some type of punk. I never read Lovers and Friends, have I? Friends with Benefits. See, that's it. Friends with Benefits. And this is what somebody going to uh, say. They're going to try to turn everything around and make it all about Friends with fucking Benefits. Nah. Hell no. Nah. No wonder they disconnected over there. No wonder you didn't go towards them. No wonder you stopped giving. Because it was feeling like that. Friends with benefits, they come drop off some diggly. Y'all smoke, talk, have a drink and be done. It's not the connection. You know what I'm saying? This is how you felt in this connection. Like it was a friends with benefits situation instead of a real loving connection. This one right here with homeboy. My person. Because my person going to know I want to be with him and he going to want to be with me. I don't know why people think it's okay to just, I don't know. I'm going to leave that on. But whoever this is, okay, baby. This big D energy over here, this King of Cups over here, he ain't playing. And for my masculines, you already know what you bring us to the table and let these heifers think, make you think that you don't got it. They going to try to come for your character, how you look, how you dress. You know, your house ain't big enough. I'm tell you what somebody said. House ain't big enough, car ain't big enough. They going to come for everything you got that they don't have, right? Don't let them make them think that because you're going to have a big old new opportunity in your forefront and it's going to make you so doggone happy. It might come in the summer. I don't know. It might be around on a sunny ass day. Who knows? But it's coming in and it's coming in loud and disrespectful all because you moved away from something that did not mean you no good. You moved away from something that was manipulative and attacking you emotionally. Okay. Tell me about ever after. Who is this ever after energy with? Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles in reverse forever after. Page of Wands is in reverse. Hey, look. This gonna be somebody mad. Somebody might be coming to tell you. Ooh, look. Queen of Cups is in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Death in reverse. This is somebody who's about to come find out that you didn't move on. Like, and they probably feeling like you moved on kind of fast. They about to find out that it ain't no love here no more. Love don't live here no more. Why is the page of wands in reverse? This communication is coming in. Or you know what? Somebody about to find out. Somebody, moon. The moon is here. Somebody about to find out they didn't got robbed, played, manipulated. 
And then, you know what? I feel like they thinking that you put a curse on them. You put a spell on me. Why is this moon here, sitting ancestors? What is being hidden? This that chaos. Somebody had a nightmare or a dream about you. Will of fortune in reverse and the dog gonna stop? Yes. Somebody's about to find out something that they not gonna want to find out. It's some type of communications coming in about some finances. Somebody ain't do the studying or the proper research on what they didn't got attached to. Now everybody know doing a race retrograde, you ain't supposed to sign no contracts and make no deals. So clearly, whoever the hell this is is quite unaware of that information. It's the Scorpio possibly here that's unaware and refusing to change, has broken leases, broken contracts with love finances, communication. This person is about to find out the hard way. Them failing to change, life and chaos and confusion. It, this is the person that could be possibly having a um, a spiritual battle. They're, they're trying to battle with God and become the God. It's the difference is, it's one thing to battle with other gods in the 3D. But if you're trying to battle with the almighty God as if you are the God, Baby, you you want some other shit. Tell me about the death in reverse. <laughs> Tell me about the death in reverse. Eight of Wands. Well, they coming in to say something to you. What they coming to say to my Cancer Leo Cup? They trying to have all. They about to make it seem like all blockages in the devil. Mm -mm, no, stay away from this toxic. This person is a toxic flea. This person got bed bugs. I don't care what nobody say. Stay away. Stay away from them. I don't even like the feeling. This person is gonna attack you financially. They're gonna attack, they're gonna attack your finances. They're gonna communicate in the nastiest tone to you. Okay? Because they are delusional. This is somebody who possibly can't even sleep. They have nightmares because of their wicked ways. They have nightmares because they refuse to accept help. They refuse to change. They refuse to release the witches. This is this person's own doing, but they want to come talk to you because they just might just have a sick obsession with you. Ooh, child. Ooh, I don't feel that right with this person, y'all. Tell me about the devil. What is this devil energy for this person? Here I go again with my own. The four of wands and the five of cups. Well, then, yes, they're going to find out you're possibly in the union. At first, you want to know what my first thought was? I don't know. Spirit, come on now. That ain't fair. I can at least say what I just thought at first. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. This person might be obsessed with reuniting with you and then making you cry or hurting you. I don't know. It's some sick. It's some sick connected to this. It's like it'd it be that quick thrill and then they try to take it away real, real fast to see you off into this kind of energy. No wonder they got the karma that they got because why would you do that to somebody and think that's cool? Tell me about this fairy godmother. So I get the hell on. Tell me about the fairy godmother. Or somebody could be finding out that you went off and got married. Fairy godmother, seven of pentacles is in reverse. Why seven of pentacles in reverse for the fairy godmother? The king of wands is in reverse. Whoa. This is somebody very much so toxic as hell. Why is the, who's this king of wands in reverse? I think y'all done met somebody new. I told you it was a new connection here. These are past energy. This King of Wands in reverse and this King of Swords in reverse is past energy. But this doggone um, a fool. Y'all, they mad they ain't take a leap of faith with you. Yeah, these are past energies coming in. But this 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 King of Cups seem like he the Don Dada. It seemed like he been nailed to the cross before. He been crucified. He been through hell. And he's willing to make an offer to you of a new beginning. For happiness, he wants happiness with somebody. Why is the fool in reverse for the king of wands? Could be an airy and a seven of pentacles who invested, did a bad investment some type of way. 
Why is it split? You know, this area could be a male or a female. It's the Queen of Wands. Oh, my God. It's possibly a couple, y'all, out here, and they don't care for you. Why is this? This fool could be a Queen of Wands, uh, Aries, too. You got a friend out here, possibly, that don't like you. Or it's somebody out here that don't like you. Think. Tell me about the fool in reverse. There's a lot of jealousy around y'all. The three of swords. Grief. Or somebody you thought was a friend. They got some strong masculine energy connected to them. But it's it's some grief surrounding this individual because they invested into something that went bad. Somebody probably... I'm going to tell you what I got here. It's somebody here, right? That... It was like some competition with this five of swords energy that was out here. It was this lovers and friends. Somebody was in competition with you. Right? With a Pacific somebody. A suspicious, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It was in some type of competition with you with somebody. Only to find out when it all comes down, this person is being, is rejecting them now. They are. They're rejecting them now. Now the sword is look and stalking you. This 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 King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy is somebody who couldn't see his or herself for who they really were. They wasn't accepting the fact that this person never was going to give all the way to them. Like it's hard to the uh, heal from a certain energy. Like I said, it's the energy that stay with you for the rest of your life when you have betrayed an earth angel. And some people don't believe in all of that, but their soul do. Their ancestors do. So they're going to walk around craving and feasting off of trying to find this energy that you never will find again. Because you shouldn't have fucked it up when you had it, okay? What is this grieving energy? Somebody could be just grieving a relationship or a friendship between you all. Three of swords in reverse. Why is it in reverse with an ancestor? I'm not going to get no kids. I'm not leaving this house no more today. The Empress is in reverse. Whoa. Tell me about these three of swords in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors. Listen. Listen to this. Empress, Ace of Wands, baby, listen. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in reverse, baby, listen. Somebody tried it. They really did. They tried it. They did. Somebody is somebody is uffed up in the freaking head about this whole freaking connection and the fact that you went off. You went off. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Swords in reverse. What is this Ace of Swords in reverse about? The Knight, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Damn, an Empress, Ace of Wands, and a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a bad bitch. I ain't gonna lie. This is a badass bitch right here. Not only is she a badass bitch, motherfucker got the hots for her too, like everybody do. But then it's all on Queen of Swords in reverse with this bitter energy kind of like and this Eight of Swords in reverse. I think this part of the Empress energy too because she cutthroat with her tongue right now. She ain't, she ain't, th listen, I feel like it's somebody trying to tear her down though. Try to tear this Empress down off her pedestal. The King of Swords is out here and the Queen of Swords is out here. With a King of Cups and then you got a King of Wands out here. So it's a lot of energies out here surrounding this Empress, uh, Queen of Swords energy because it's like fear surrounding her. Because she is so doggone fine and independent and stable. Like, so what? Ain't nobody got no Ralph Lauren furniture. Okay? But she still got her crib. So what? I ain't got my beans yet. Okay? But I got a whip. You know what I'm saying? And so what? I don't wear 20-inch in nails, but they pretty. You know what I'm saying? So, so what? I don't wear labels every day, but I'm neat and clean. 
Somebody is realizing the value of a connection is more than material. So what are they going to do? Like, what's, what's happening? Spirit, tell me more about this Empress, though. What's she on? Um, because she got an idea. She got a plan. And she going to it. And she, she getting a bag. This person is not focusing on dwelling in these energies. Look, this chariot keep coming out. Leave it out. See, Cancer, this is you. This is your Cancer and energy out here. You're not about to dwell on this bullshit. You getting on the chariot and you getting the hell out. And if you had to let a knock an emperor off, baby, what? You out here manifesting for the gods. This is an ancestor's prayer, okay? You didn't want it to hermit because people wanted to commit injustice to you, okay? They wanted to speak dirt on your dog on that. They wanted to attack you. They wanted to belittle you. Just like I freaking said, they felt like they didn't have the need to uh, marry you or connect with you or have a, a serious relationship with you. Somebody possibly feel like you got a sick way of thinking spiritually or your religion is trash. Yes, they do, but they in love. I don't care what nobody say. They want a connection with you. They in love. Bitches. Uh, it's just, just, they're not true to their own emotions. So they try to take you down. That's what it is. They scared of their own. What is my, uh, this Empress manifesting, Spirit and Ancestors? Because you didn't manifest it. You did a lot of manifest this, Seven of Wands. You did a lot of manifesting. You did. You you did so much manifesting. You don't even realize you did it. This this bleh, this musician is uh, you manifested your own protection. You at some point you summoned in your ancestors to rally behind you to protect you and shield you for those who mean to harm you. Okay, you could have been at a broken, sunken place. You probably felt weak. You probably felt fragile you probably felt like you couldn't pull yourself up out and you made a cry out to the ancestors but baby they listening and they coming in and they on a the chariot and they putting that spark up your doggone ass and look that this should go on the damn chariot on her way out and look at all of the ancestors they got your back you ain't worried about nothing you ain't worried what tell me about the seven of wands though spinning ancestors protecting they stuff from what what do you need protection from from all these old wicked gossiping helpers that want to want to hurt you that because they want your new love they want your new life like how can some didn't i just say this spirit don't fucking play with me three of cups addictions hoes and bros Third party energy, spirit is sending the light off real, real fast in your head now because you're not about to deal with third party energies. No, you are not. Nah, you can go. You can go. Like, like I told somebody this too. I'm not dealing with no chick. Mm -mm, no, not Mary Madeline. I'm not dealing with no body, not your mama. No, nothing. Ain't no chick got nothing to do with my doggone relationship. Period. I will listen to your child before I listen to a chick. Tell me about me and my man relationship. Or, or And if a man feel the need to keep bringing a woman involved in our connection, psh, you can't stay. You got to go. So you getting the hell on away from this third party energy. You is. You getting what, away on from all of this, this drunk, uh, partying, hanging out all dog on night. You can tell the people ain't got nothing else to do with their life. That's all they do all day, every day. They're getting high all damn day because they don't have no responsibilities or obligations because they are a liability. 